All right, we're getting into this one. I have to watch my beloved Guangdong mysteriously lose. For me, the win rate has been pretty hit or miss. And I want to add that Renata is in a great spot in the meta at the moment. Works really well with picks like the Varus. And also completely dunks on Nautilus. Ah, Rascal. So getting getting rid of the uh, the Renekton for him. We might see TRX take a lesson away from their loss and be like, you know what? Smolder does beat Senna. Whatever he said there, it didn't, it didn't look like uh, Senna. So it is going to be the Ash Ban instead. And the Senna should be picked up immediately here for the side of the Kwangdong. Yeah, I love watching Kwangdong just lose to uh, Smolder over and over again. This is my favorite. What was it, 16 games in a row? Then she lost two. I don't think that has anything to do with the champion and its power, though, Chronicler. Worrying trend for Senna enjoyers such as ourselves. It will be the Smolder. Coming up here. The sandwich is such a banger, guys. The homemade, like, white sauce with the hummus and the, the chicken shawarma that I made. It's so good. It's so good. You should not do it because Karia should not be allowed to have gold. On Kench, the Karma not going to make us very excited. We've seen the pick be fine. As, ooh, that is a Kwangnong special. Do it. Yeah, I kind of love it. Yeah. Shove Smolder underneath his turret. Don't allow him to stack. Yep. And when he does hit 225, you I'm 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 into it because you can you can um you have actually can charm over the top with Seraphine ult to get uh Smolder and you can use Senna ult over the top to hurt him as well. You need some hard dive though. Where's the Vi? Pick Vi. Unsurprising both like two weeks okay. Uh, it has been a lot of way quirky uh, picks for Bulldog. He likes to play kind of late game poke champions. Jin Zhao to attack the back line, both Wei and Seraphine under threat from that pickup. Yeah, taking away the Lee Sin, I think, is wise. Would love to see some Vi here, though. I love the Bard pick here. The Bard pick's very good for into Senna, Seraphine, and, and Tway. It's a good draft so far from DRX. All right, Volley. Great. Some more backline threat. Volley's very strong in this patch. Has a lot of engage potential with the extra speed on his Q now. In terms of what it offers to this comp, it's not really going to be able to do too much early on. Milio open. Yeah, Milio is pretty good too, but I don't know. The Smolder Milio lane might be a little rough. Not the Smolder Bard isn't, I guess. Yeah, not 100 sure about the power level of the Volibear. I feel like might as well just go Vi in some cases like that. Uh, as the I do think Vi is better here though. And they will take it. Then Volley. Nar available here is oh yes yes do it Rask. He does it again. Rock solid. It yeah. is it is <laughs> rock solid. Who kills Malphite? Bulldog late game if he doesn't get ulted. But I. Yeah, I mean, they, they did a lot here. This is a good draft by DRX into low mobility compositions, right? Huge amount of backline threat between Jin, Bard, and Malphite. That is absolutely terrifying. I do think, though, it is low on AD damage. And and the type of AP damage that they do have, I don't think really... Pretty low damage composition, though. Like, this is like a late game, Smolder just kills everybody composition. Otherwise, they don't have damage, DRX. So it, it does depend on how fast the Smolder can stack in bot side, I think. The Volibear bear jungle makes his reappearance to the chagrin of Atlas on the space today. It's like everything is about how how fast Smolder can get to 225 stacks. Wait, who's on the free side? Uh, DRX. DRX. DRX, can I do it? I I'm in free. I thought that was... On the free, can I do it? Oh no, I think. DRX, can I do it? DRX, can I think. All right, we did it. We we <laughs> nailed it. Saved. No no issues at all with that one. No problems whatsoever, fortunately. Yeah, our timing was impeccable. Absolutely essential. I love that. Like, you also didn't know and then tried to do it the right way, and I was like, no 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 no, I got you, and then I didn't. I didn't have you. You did get me. I did. Well, in yeah. a different way. In a bad way, Valdez. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Got him. I did. Yeah. 
I should have played it off as a mean joke. Everyone would believe I make yeah. mean jokes. Chronicler is just very mean. Oftentimes makes uh, snide remarks and <laughs> notoriously known <laughs> yeah. rude. Bro anti as well. Can't yeah. trust those. Loves confrontation. Yes. Just loves getting in arguments for no reason. Isn't it all? Oh, you know me. Uh, when I get loose on the internet, yeah. no one can stop me. In reality, everything that I've said, just think the opposite of it, and that's <laughs> actually <laughs> where, where we're at here with this Chronicler guy. Uh, pulling on, Dill. They're going to get in there and make their presence felt. Uh, the Smolder in this lane, essentially, just he goes fleet, and he tries to stay alive and dodge a bunch of stuff, and hopefully... Not take too much harass. He'll get some healing from the bard and stuff, but it's not going to be a fun lane at all. Yeah, it was a pretty brutal lane. Sponge should be making his way towards his bot side. Did start on the top. But they have so many ways to get into the back line this game. Like, I'm really liking this comp from DRX. But they could be in big trouble because as many ways as they have to get in the back line, they will get outscaled. And if they, you know, if Teddy can't stay alive. But if I'm DRX, you know. Somehow make your way Putting all my eggs into the teddy basket isn't the worst thing in the world. It's probably your best chance of winning. You do actually get to stack a whole lot. I think in a lot of smaller lanes, there is a situation where you just don't, you don't get to walk up. Playing is like Callista or Varus. Like Jeff P two six six two. Sorry if I didn't get to your subscription. Thank you very much for subscribing. I have my YouTube memberships open now too. Indeed, see Sponge making his way, but already they knew he was on top side. Early ward placed him there. And they have a try bust word right now as well. Now there is a way for Sponge to circumvent that and try to look for a gank on this crash, but the timing doesn't work out. Already the wave is in. And Buonandil really showcasing the early dominance of this lane. Ooh. Yeah. And Power Q really hurting. Yeah, and Plena, yeah, he's gonna go W second. He's gonna try to heal up Teddy here. Third wave crash. At this point, so he does heal up some of his damage, but Pleta, uh, no pot in his inventory, no cookie either, so he's just taking Gray harass on to Teddy's so, uh, gonna get a plate. Uh yeah, brutal. Two heals, but, uh, now he's That's such an annoying lane to play so, into. And down 10 CS. So. Uh oh. And now Sponge down a level is being bullied out by the bear. He's just gonna yep. flash. Yeah, yeah, good call. You are down a level. And that voted bear with PTA. Uh, yeah, the, the volley with PTA, this, the damage he does. And if you get hit by E, guys, you get slowed as well. And his E does, a like, what, 13% of your health? Something like that? 12% at level 1? Your max health? It's a lot of damage, plus he gets a shield off of it. So you you don't survive that. basically the equivalent of playing Renekton in, in jungle, where you just you win every every skirmish, every one to, uh, 1v1. Especially with PTA early on. Yes. So that gives you so much agency in setting up for these plays. Again, that's Ball Bear, good. super good right now, guys. One of the main reasons he is picked in the first place is because he can be really oppressive, as we do see already. Teddy starting to fall behind. We'll be able to TP back and pick up most of his wave. But even if he does it perfectly, early lead for Bull and Andel. Getting, getting hit by Ball Bear, Bear, Bear E is the death. Again, reiterating, if you just tuned in, if you didn't watch guys. the free show. If DRX he gets a shield, he slows you, and he does a massive percentage of your total HP and magic damage. I mean, and then he just follows it up by chaining W's on you, and you die. Really, Volibear? Volibear's so good right now, guys. It's so good. He, he, he can, he's so fast in ganking. You can do crazy shit, but like buy Doran's blade boots too, super fast, and just like run at people. Then go into Sundered Sky or um, Iceborne. But he's super nasty. Doesn't take damage from doing objectives either because of his W and his E. I just love Malphite into. Stationary and he can't duel anybody right now. It's cra it's crazy. Like it, when Jin Zhao has to fucking run away, like you know that that champion's legit at dueling. Plus, he enables dives really effectively, guys. Because even though they nerfed his ult a little bit in terms of the tower, um, the tower uh, turn off duration by a second, he has it up more often now and. Pro teams can take that two-second window and absolutely smoke you in it. So it doesn't really matter for the professional scene. Fact that having his ult up more often is probably better. 
obviously does have a lot of beefcakes bolstered up by a lot of fuel. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of an Can he solo Baron? No. Nobody can really solo Baron anymore, I don't think. Uh, an unfun comp, I guess you can call it. As but he can solo, you know, he can solo Drake at like five minutes with no him. items. But, yeah, Easily. He's, he's really feeling the pain. He already teleported back. So you have a lot of flexibility in terms of your pathing, too. Where you can take advantage of recall timers to take Grubs or, or Drake. Stacking, just hitting 25. Like he's he's crazy good right now, guys. Without that, as we can see, Smolder really not feeling like it's going to do much of value. And because being an angry and very scary bear got himself some top sides, grubs, and I, I would love for them to just start up Drake here. I don't think there's a lot of counterplay for DRX. Might not want to risk it. But th they definitely could, uh, as we know with full vision. It's interesting that he's taking green smite instead of blue smite, though, because blue smite with his fucking Q is so terrifying. He's so fast at creating like picks and stuff, but I guess they need the they want the additional tankiness because they have tons of late game damage and sustain with Quay, Seraphine, uh, and Senna. <laughs> right, make Chromos for every world scene back in 2018. You said they were incapable of doing it on Summoning Insight, but they just choose not to do it. Yeah, but that was only for world teams, not for every like franchise team. Don't die as early on in fights as we saw the other day. Here's a fun little nugget for you guys. So the LCS uh, partnership agreement has to be modified for next year by the end of this month. So I think we're going to see some pretty big changes to LCS and the way that partnership works next year. Because they have to, Riot has to come up with a plan for next year by the end of this month. So it wouldn't surprise me if they if they fold in CB lol for next year. Create a Americas region. What's the thought behind Malph into so much AP? Uh, he absolutely, his ult absolutely clowns on low mobility backline carries for dive. Plus, you can set it up with Bard ult. <laughs> I, I mean, you can just ult onto Seraphine, Senna, and Hui and just, like, murder them. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, you can't, in fact, buy MR as Malphite. Yeah, I mean, uh, Kanic Rooker is going to be huge value here, right? Yes, yeah, that is. It's Death Note. 
I oh. thought maybe you'd seen that one. Cause yeah, Valdez doesn't know the Death Note reference. It's when Light is sitting in his room and is like, I'll take a potato chip and eat it, like, very dramatically. True, yeah. While he's, you know, planning out his 15-dimensional chess. True. Uh, all out here under the turret, but I you just press R and you avoid it. Another fun part of this matchup is that if you want to go in with your R, you can, but generally, if he has all out, you just save it. You just run away. Or, you know, unstoppable force away. Which really is just a more advanced force of, or form of running. Because you're running, but you're not stopped. It's kind of like Naruto dashing. Maybe he's Naruto running, but he's going so fast that we can't see it. Isn't the dash just also a, a run, though? Or does he, like, just... I don't know. Does I he mean, if your arms and legs aren't moving... Is it like a jump? He just, like, jump! And then he... That's how he propels kind himself? Kind of, yeah. He generates force. Well, yeah, but is it like... And because he's a mountain, once he's in motion... Ah. I think it just so kind of, like, parries, you Really, know? thematically, he should have a very slow... So he's doing a pretty good job of CSing under the turret, though. Yes, but then he would be a really bad champion. It's not, not a great sign <laughs> for Kwangdong. <laughs> We don't know how many stacks he has, though, because LCK just shows us fleet footwork instead of the number of stacks. 60, 70. Uh, not a lot of stacks, though. He hasn't been able to trade because he's just been under turret. He will actually become a really big problem. Like, I imagine Bull will be looking as a... This is ridiculous. We're just zooming in on the Christmas... Coffee mugs. Yeah, he's, he's prepared some there's no for gaming. Himself. Yeah. I think that it's a shame that there's no ice version of the drinks. You know, like, it's summer. Well, it's spring, but when summer is ripped, it looks very summery. I still drink iced coffee. I mean, I know that's hot chocolate. Well, uh, yeah. For the skin, but. Um, well, that's my point. Where is. You can drink iced drinks. Where is. In winter, where is. Fine. Where's Barista Bard? I, I guess this is kind of Barista Bard. Because it is yeah, the, the little mugs, although it's not coffee, so you can't tell me that. that no, but that's what I'm saying. Really he slow game, guys. Zero zero at thirteen, 13 minutes. Bar will be a barista. He has the sure. Yeah. So where's the skin? Even it's a, it's an alliteration. It's, it's perfect. Yeah. Is this is it I'm all, okay is it not it. perfect? No, oh, no, it's, it's okay. Are you watching LCS tonight? No, I'll be watching some LCS tomorrow and the next day. LEC and LCS, lots of it. The next couple days, guys. I have to finish some LCK games um, because I have the Monty Wolf show tomorrow morning. It feels kind of the same, though. It's a DRX and relax. Whoa. That's what this game is. Okay. But it is going to. He doesn't have Magical Journey up. He's just going to flash. Okay. Just get away from any action. That's that's also a good idea. <laughs> He's trying to relax. He's trying to DRX and relax. Uh. <laughs> okay. it's, it's hard to find. Sponge doesn't uh, have smite. Try it's interesting the Volibear is going Thornmail first. I, Why? It's not really an easy word to rhyme. Uh, is he is he that concerned about like Jin Zhao healing? But that doesn't rhyme. No, I know. Guangdong and relax doesn't mean anything. It doesn't work. Um, maybe maybe we say freaks. But like I, I can't think of anything that works. Yeah. What goes with freaks? Freaks. I, I I'm blanking. This is this is horrible. We need a rhyme. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just, nothing is coming to mind at the well, moment. I, it's, it's honestly on me, because you are... The double proxy oh, farm? That's, 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 that one's a bit easier, that's peak. though. Well, yeah, but it, it, it's never been done before. True. Any magical journeyers? Just like, no. Sponge was thinking about it. We can use the ultimate. So engage on the stationary carries. In theory. Yeah. They were trying to set up for it. I mean, they, they had the two of them in the brush. You just drop an ult and then you magical journey over the wall. And they're not really getting out of that unless, like, Bull Encore flashes away and tries to survive. 103 stacks from Teddy. He is severely behind the eight ball. The fact that he hasn't hit 125 for the faster scaling 
is an issue. Yeah, this is this is not a bad situation for Kwang Nung if they can keep stacking Drakes. But they this is they need to get this Drake, I think. I don't know how it correlates to the game yet, but I'm sure we can find a way. Maybe we'll figure it out. Because if they get this Drake in it, I mean the options would be what? Cloud, Hextech, Infernal, or Mountain Soul. Like any of those is fucking banging. What? Cuz? What the fuck, man? What are we doing? So, Bulldog TPs to mid lane. And Cassante is pushing up top. But they, they just don't respect the TP out of the mid lane at all. Why did he use TP in the mid? What the fuck is Bulldog doing? I don't know how it correlates to the game yet. He knows his team is about to fight Drake and he just TPs into the mid lane. He could TP here. They could put a ward down for him. What the fuck? So they they see that TP. They see Huey in mid and they're like, oh, it's fucking free. And Malphite's way under turret, so he has TP. He can TP first. And Dudu just doesn't TP, so it's just a five versus three for no reason. It's a nice Bartle on the Dudu. Here we do have Bulldog as well, trying to just poke some damage down, but W will get Dudu out of dodge. Nice little stun does come in from the root from Bull. Why was Sway TPing into mid lane? What the fuck is that call? Like your team, you have eyeballs, Bulldog. You see your team is pushing up on this Drake. Like, this must be the world's most confusing shot call. Like, why are you playing so aggressively when they have two TPs and have the positional advantage for TPing? Like, they're set up, DRX is set up for these two TPs. You are not. You just wasted your TP in the bid. Jesus Christ, what a terrible, what a terrible play. Awful. But a nice conversion here from DRX on the double teleport. No longer relaxing is DRX. Fortunately, also freeing us from that conversation. Double TP invested from both teams because it's DRX that have the. Is there a real reason to have Sunfire? No. They're able to get the win. They do give up a lot for this, though. And hopefully, they get a little bit more out of this. Yeah, so Bull walked in range of the. Okay, Dudu's just committing suicide. Krug Ward. They're able to get the win. Dudu, or Bull still has ult. Hopefully, they get a little bit more out of this. Yeah, so Bull walked in range of the Karma, and so did Dudu. So they're both dead, okay? I don't really know why they were so... What a disaster, dude. Like, they had a pretty good advantage, but what the fuck are they doing on their setups? Yeah, Bulldog really salvaged it with the mid turret, and I'm like, maybe this is worth it. And then they died in bottom. It was definitely not worth it as we take another look. The engage for DRX, not necessarily amazing, but with double TP, you obviously can get a whole lot done. Crucial here as well is that Yehu arrives very early, does a ton of damage, and Cassante trying to help Plata, just ensuring that Dudu doesn't get to play the game. And this is a, this is a little bit. You know they're at Drake. Yehu just walks up and hits them with the Mantra Q. Yeah. At the end of it, you lane. you yeah, know they're at Drake. Bull, by himself, Bull refuses to use ult under any circumstance. Shoot out to a pretty strong lead here in the mid game. Teddy is also sitting at 137. So actually building up the stacks now. Slowly getting some virus. Rascal might be in trouble. Yeah, no turret. No, he's not. He can't kill him. I don't think. He's about to get it back. He has ult. Has ult over the wall. And now they're going to turn it on to Andil. It's a free kill for them. As the ult. Lol, the, the fucking Bartle. Going to save the life of his team. Plata actually doing a good job with Bartle's this game. Quite a bit of uh, danger here at this point as well. They want to give this kill over to Teddy. As they won't quite be able to. But it's still another DRX win. And we've gone from no action at all to action across. Oh, oh my that God! Is, that is not are, are they just trolling with TPs? You're playing towards the top side of Dude, the they are line. actually Take trolling with TPs. They just waste. We just watched them waste all three TPs. Uh, if that wasn't enough, getting the top side 
Rascal doesn't even have any MR. He's already not dying, Valdez. Yeah. Oh, the flash as well. Great ultimate from Pleda. Sets them up for the kill on Cuz. Cuz is close to his ultimate cooldown here, but doesn't quite have it. Bulldog just doesn't have the mana nor the damage at this point to save his. This is such a pathetic. This is such a pathetic game from fucking Kwangdong. Like they, they just have no idea what's going on on the map. Catching up very rapidly on these stacks. Oh yeah. Missed out on early on due to all this fighting across the map, but also with a pretty substantial gold lead. Yeah, I mean, if you win the fight on bot with double TP... And How does Smolder have a 1k gold lead after what was going on in the laning phase? Bonus kills ...because the enemy team is sticking around and teleporting into three people. Yes, Bull didn't quite see them, but he quickly saw them afterwards. And then the dive goes wrong, essentially, on the top side of the map. So everybody's getting ahead. Teddy's getting extra kills. Yeah, he scaled up a little bit slow, but he's fine. He's got 125 now. He's going to hit it eventually, and you're not in a massive rush anymore because you didn't fall behind at all. Yeah. When he's your at, smolder comp. He's at 163. Yeah, it's slow, but there will be no game-breaking point where he needs to have it or they lose, which normally should be the case. Because imagine if Kwangdong are up three day, uh, drakes at this point, right? Like, they're staring down Mountain Soul. It will completely invalidate Teddy if they end up getting it, and he doesn't have a stack yet. Horror, instead... DRX, they are in fact relaxing in a very different fashion. <laughs> Do you have a least favorite champion to see in competitive? It's Yumi's second least favorite then? Um, I mean, it's definitely Yumi. If you're able to contest them right now, they are in firm control of the map. And yes, the composition of Kwangdong. I don't think I hate any other champions that much. Uh, Kasante is getting pretty old at this point. But they did nerf him quite a bit, so. But I don't, I just mind him because we've been seeing him a lot, not just because I, because I think he has a boring kit or anything. I mean, Smolder's pretty miserable to watch, guys. It's just like, wait, Smolder have stack, end game. I like the position that DRX in right now. This is the key thing. DRX needs to actually make it happen from here. Because this is where they faltered a lot. I don't want to see anyone get caught out inside. I don't want to see Teddy be too far forward, get caught by a big Seraphine ultimate. I want him to stay away from choke points, which is tough because they are playing into Mountain. As I didn't quite catch the stacks. It's like 177. Yeah. yeah. So they can give up this Drake. If they want, they can contest for it. Because again, who kills Rascal? Um, Nobody kills Rascal. Can, can, you know, drag him away, but I know the answer. It's Cassante. Eventually. <laughs> I guess. I, He's the only one powerful enough. Bulldog did go for the uh, for the Leandris, which I think is a great call. Definitely need that. Otherwise, yes. there's absolutely no chance. Agreed. You need Leandris. And Void Staff. I hope so, yeah. Would be a good idea. Uh, we get a big zoom out here. We got TP right into the mid lane due to Tanky in his own right. Just going to get that knock up on the Rascals. Both teams vying for position around this first Mountain Drake. Seems like Quantum Freaks don't want to give it up, and DRX do not want to let them have even one. Do you think the bot lane meta will come to a point where it's Santa Smolder Handshake? That's what we already see. Yeah. I mean, in terms of the poke war, it is going to be kind of karma against, you know, Santa Seraphine and Huey, of course. The biggest one as a root comes down on a rascal. They almost got through a shield there as now the whale to make gonna be utilized onto him. They're throwing everything so good into the mouth fight. He's just gonna force them to all out. And yes, they did chunk down rascal. Is it gonna pay off though? As the chase comes in, that's a nice knock about a sponge. You will be forced to crescent guard to survive. And you know, the lack of seraphine ults is very interesting. I wonder what they keep saving it for. Maybe Bull's just bad at seraphine. Although you're ex thinking about the Baron. Teddy. DRX being chained down by their own indecision there could have either engaged or run towards Baron. You can't just sit there and not do anything. I don't need to engage, you need to pull the trigger, which you can do. You have Bard ult, so you can at least force some summoners, and you have Rascal who could ult offensively or also find just back up completely and fret Baron. And I don't think you can really do Baron, but maybe you can get some summoners out. You can put Quano in an awkward position if they somehow mess up, right? If they if they mess up their response, maybe you do get away with a Baron. That said, I mean he he held his Seraphine ult like through everything in that bot fight, like through the dragon fight, through the time they tower dove him, through the fight that got him and Dudu killed. 
never used ult. As you did highlight Chronicler, they can just wait. They can wait for Teddy to hit 225. It's very relaxing for them. And I'm not saying that Quantum Freaks don't have scaling in their comp. They absolutely do. It's Senna Seraphine. They have way as well. But some some big questions, right? Will they be able to deal with the smolder? Will Teddy get in range to do enough damage later on? In the well, he has 225 stacks now. Even though he was slow going before, now he's got them. Before 25 minutes. For Quantum Freaks, especially as the game does come along. So we'll see if they can answer those. Oh, ominous. This would be a very different game if they had gotten the uh, second Drake. Because they'd be one away from Mountain Soul and maybe be winnable for Kwang No. Okay, here we go. Here's the setup, got, by the way, guys, with Bartold into Malphite Alt. So gross. Muted it. from the side of DRX is now Rascal gets pulled over. Can they actually kill the Malphite is the question. Will I be correct? Can do to do it? No, he will not. As Teddy, he's getting in range. He's got 225. He flaps forward. He is so low, but he just does not care as he still has the flash. And he will push Quantum Freaks away. I don't think this qualifies as a banger. Well, hold on. I want to see. I haven't seen these yet. I need to watch it before Monty and Wolf show tomorrow. So suck it up. We'll watch LCS and LEC games tomorrow. And then here, Dudu actually almost manages to make it happen, make the fight work for them. But nonetheless, Fel, this is prophecy almost coming true. But that does end up finding the ultimate. Ah, oh, Bulldog, yeah. Can't get hit by that. Great timing there as well from Rascal. Maybe watch I mean, Bull tries through. to counteract the engage by hitting the charm into the back line, but. Stasis. And then here, Dudu actually almost manages to make it happen, make the fight work for them. But nonetheless, Fel, this is prophecy almost coming true. But Sponge actually doing a good job of standing guard, and the real threat, Teddy, definitely does a lot of damage there. So, at the end of that fight, Old Gone, or a Flash Gone rather for Undale, but also for Rascal and Sponge. <laughs> My doubts about LCS and LEC being bangers. Um, I mean, yeah, G2 versus B BDS. Maybe I'll watch, if we have time, I'll watch it today. But as long as they keep trading evenly, eventually the smolder is just good. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That doesn't surprise me. And he's got a lot of time to do it. We're 26 minutes into the game as he's actually... You don't want to watch LCK Live? I will watch LCK Live, but it, that, I guess I guess I'm going to have to do that. In 50 minutes, because I have to watch it live before Monty and Wolf show tomorrow morning. Yeah, they do need their dragon to take down Baron. That is a necessity. Yeah. So they're going to get one Q, a couple of Qs out of Teddy. As he slowly does burn it down. No, sir. Oh, Bulldog. Yeah, I mean, they know this is happening. They're just looking for the engage. He does get in that back line, but where is the follow-up? He almost kills him alone, and he is going to kill Ogdell. Look at his health bar. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, they know this is happening. They're just looking for the engage. He does get in that back line, but where is the follow-up? He almost... He does crazy amounts of damage to that set. He's like 100 to zeros that set. What the fuck, man? This is ridiculous. Nobody can kill the Malphite, and our question... Doesn't seem to be answered by the Quantum Freaks. They don't have a way to kill the Malphite. As he literally 1v5 ults into the back line. And now they're even going to kill Malphite the was a great pick here, guys. Super good. I liked DRX's draft a lot. It was predicated on them, you know, the Smolder getting huge. But he got his stacks because Kwangdong played super badly in the mid game. One of the oldest champions in the book. Press R. Press R. Uh, yes, I reviewed T1 versus Gen.G already. Uh, we'll be making an edit of that for my main YouTube channel as well for highlights. The thing is, too, is that Rascal has PTA, like, procced on him this entire fight, and they still do no damage to him. Bulldog's not there, right? Like, he's not doing anything to the... I, I, 
it, it, yeah, and even with Bulldog, like, even Bulldog being there, I don't think would have substantially no. changed uh, what happened. It's not going to deal 2,000 damage to that Malphite. It, it would not have. <laughs> that doesn't a little even bit lower. do anything. <laughs> yeah. And now he's got an ending despair as well. Oh, my. I, oh. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're not killing him. And I, I think he can just do that again. He's level 17. <laughs> yeah. These type of death ball comps with the Senna Seraphine. He's six he's level just higher just than the fucking Senna. Where there's just no damage. Yikes. Bull didn't go Leandris himself. He actually does no damage to Rascal. Yeah. Like zero. He doesn't have any magic penetration. He doesn't have... Why did everybody go anti-heal? Why do we have Thornmail... What, what is going on? Why do we have Thornmail first Volibear, Morello Namakon, who... Like... Why why do we need this much anti heal? We could have Leandries. Why what are we anti healing? Guys. <laughs> like J Jin Zhao heal? <laughs> that is this weird. <laughs> himself uh, he actually does no damage to rascal yeah the the every the the Jin Zhao passive every third auto healing he has hundred sky too though but even so yeah like zero he doesn't have any magic penetration he doesn't have any health burn it's it's fine guys surely he'll find a way to do a karma w he does have <laughs> It'll be okay, right? Yeah, uh, double flash, just like that. And now they don't have their flash for when the Malphite decides to... Like, the double anti-heal is, like, very it's concerning. Cool. Especially from ahead, it's it's unbreakable. If anything, DRX should be buying anti-heal. Of course, yes, of course. Anti-heal is so much more valuable uh, with, you know, if you're playing into Kwangdong's comp. run away from this one, and now they're going to go for that Mountain Drake. And you thought they were unkillable now. They don't even have a single mountain yet! about to get one and maybe more if the game lasts that long i think yeah the the, the draft is really good from drx i mean the bard the DRX bard malphite were lives. very clever i think the series they're out of play of contention and you know what right now game number one it's looking good <laughs> and you know who's winning with this as well bro bro yeah quantum freaks lose even one game bro are still in playoffs even the one just the, the one game. And DRX still... Whoop. I guess you can just do that at this point. Alright, how, how low do you think Rascal's gonna get? I'm gonna say 80% of his health bar will, will stay up. As he's gonna ult underneath the turret. And yeah, he gets pulled back. They got him below 80% just a bit. And you know what? This is taking Ooh. a very long time and it kills. Oh my god, they got him? It's too bad Smolder can kite them forever. Smolder can kite them forever with Karma Speed. Dudu's going very... He's walking at them very slowly, guys. like doo -doo. he might be here for a very long time and uh <laughs> the tiny tp yeah he's like by the way that's my kill uh nobody take it i'm gonna get it I'm gonna it's actually so kill. annoying and yeah well it's a very magical journey back to the fountain up uh, rascal this time around mistimes it if, if bull doesn't get to ult i don't think this ever does that oh but that ult does a lot of heavy lifting bulldog also really trying that on the way pulls out as much damage as possible and they do actually get the kill this turnaround from DRX here is huge, so big because the dude who gets on top of Teddy he dies but Teddy realizable and they do actually get the kill this turnaround from here <laughs> so big dude just slowly walking at them 
It's a great choice. It's a great flash forward from Teddy. <laughs> e flash forward makes it so that uh, Dudu is never ever going to get an angle on him. So people are saying Smolder is the new Zeri. Do I agree with this opinion? I think Smolder has a lot more counterplay than Zeri. I mean, it's just the thing is like, in some games, Smolder is just going to completely take over. But we knew that that had a possibility of happening based on the draft, and they misplayed the early and mid game very heavily. So now Smolder's just online. The game should not have happened this way. You know, if Smolder doesn't get huge, they don't have any damage either, right? I do love the Leandris here, though. Leandris QSS. I, I think this build is just great for this scenario because you can still get hit by Charm from Seraphine. So go ahead and buy the QSS. That's one of the only ways you can die. And your team needs you to be doing consistent damage output. And you can just proc your uh, true damage burn and your Leandris burn over and over again with QAOE. So it's very good, I think. What? Will it matter is really the question. This is just like uh I mean the, the healing and shielding is out of control. And Teddy is not really contributing to the damage in this team fight, right? He hits his W over the wall, but he's not doing anything this whole team fight, so they're able to burn down Sponge after his ult goes. And then I don't know what, what the fuck he's doing here. He literally just gets pulled in by Dudu who, who Hits a Q3 on him. Cuz with the flash uh, Volibear Q for the stun too. Very nice. I don't know why Teddy was there. Holy shit. They might lose Baron now. Oh my god. He did no... He both did no damage and then died for free. They they waste both Malphite and Jin Zhao ults, by the way, guys. They're not followed up by anything. Because there's no damage there. And Cuz doesn't even die. Well played by Dudu and Cuz to get the pickoff. I turned the game off after that play. I was so tilted. This is a, this is a tilter for sure. It's Santa Seraphine and Volibear. Like, if you're going to throw everything, including not smolder damage, why didn't Teddy take the portal with Bard? I I don't know, man. They're not followed up by anything. Teddy. Like, he literally could have just gone through that Bard portal and then queued across the front line and sieged the turret. But instead, he does this shit. What the fuck, man? Teddy. He doesn't even have flash. Like, I could maybe understand that if you have flash to flash over the wall, but what the fuck? He just thought he could E over the wall. Yeah, the Hui did get Teddy first, yes. So they actually get this, but why is Cuz ulting onto Drake? What is he doing? What? His team wasn't there. It was a full HP Drake. He's not even stealing it. 
He has 12,000 HP. And he just gets rooted. What? What the fuck, man? Kwangdung could have won that fight if Cuz didn't run it. God, what a terrible game. Can anyone buy Serpent's Fang? I mean, the shielding is, the Serpent's Fang is probably more justified for a purchase from DRX, but <clears throat> who would buy it, right? Smolder's six items. It's not really an obvious person to buy it on DRX's side. Put it on Jin. I mean, Jin would like to be more tanky probably than he is right now because his job needs to be to secure the front line for Smolder. You are going to lose some of this true immortality that's available for Rascal as this Senna just keeps on stacking and stacking. Does Serpents apply to Rookern? I don't believe so. But I don't know for sure. It does not work versus Rooker, and that's what I would assume. Oh, they flash the Malfault, but Senna doesn't. Andil, buddy. He had flash. He doesn't feel like flashing. Wasn't the execution, it was just the, the ult from Smolder. Not a Baron wave. Bulldog's gonna throw down. 
some burning ground as Ingo Sudo as well. Uh, you gotta just go do Baron, I think. Just, just take the objectives. Take, uh, please get out of there. Okay, they are getting out of there. I personally would love it if they t took the dragon. <laughs> Who can TP over? Oh, DRX. Okay, they're gonna try to beat it. And Dudu, because right here in mid, they have no idea, but they're gonna be able to scout it because it's full of air. No, DRX! Not like this. And now they get nothing except the mid inhibitor. Oh my god. Yeah, the mid inhibitor was the... This game, this game is a tragedy, guys. Oh, the tempo lead now. They the can lowest value. It's they can a tragedy! Them. Yeah, they can pretty much do anything, Quantum Freaks. I mean... Oh, Sponge is there still, though. They're gonna threaten Baron. And that they will go for it. Both these teams do want to make a fight for the Baron. TP is coming in already from Rascal behind them. Sponge They're not there. full health, though. Rascal! All right, you guys both. Uh, you, 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 got, you got Seraphine and Santa. Great TP. All right, he did it. And Bull might follow pretty nicely, but Dudu, he's on top of Teddy, who is going to flap over the wall. Just trying desperately to take out the little baby dragon. It's not quite going to work, though. It's because he's ulting in. They're so desperate to kill this little dragon. But I don't think it's going to happen. He has popped. Executed, and there is the TP. And they might just be able to get it done. Plena trying to stop the back, and that he will. And that might just be it. If Yehu can end this alone. And he's got some support as well. TP comes in. Yeah, you guys what a terrible game, guys. Oh, God. And that's what they're going to be saying, at least. That was a hard watch.